Guys, we knew it was a case of not if, but a case of when. And it has finally happened. We got our hands on the Richmond meat-free smoked bacon rashers. Let's go. Please don't forget to subscribe as we have loads of awesome content coming up. These cost me two pounds from Sainsbury's and I could not wait to get my hands on them. So they're from Richmond who are famous for, they make meat products, yes, but they're absolutely famous for their amazing vegan products. They make some of the best, well, some of the best tasting vegan sausages and vegan burgers. People absolutely love them. If you follow our Instagram account at Your Vegan Food Explorer, you'll see that they just won their frozen, our Vegan Wars frozen foods, where their sausages absolutely smashed it. Two pounds for eight really nice sausages. And now they've thrown their hat into the ring with vegan bacon. So first hand, it was two pounds, two pounds from Sainsbury's for eight rashers, which I think is pretty damn good. Um, and look, I think they look awesome. I mean, that looks like the real deal. You've got the meat and then you've got the little bits of kind of supposed to be the fat on the sides. The, the rashers are perfectly even as you would expect. Um, calorie wise, so for 37 and a half grams, which is two, rashers it is 67 calories and four grams of protein hardly any fat um and hardly any carbohydrates as you'd expect and actually compared to actual meat bacon that would have per 100 grams about 14 grams of fat and six grams of saturated fat so you can already see it's much much leaner it's made from a mixture of soy and wheat protein so unfortunately not gluten free but for all of us gluten unintolerant people we can enjoy this so let's get it on the frying pan and do a taste test right so they're just fine now and already the smell it smells absolutely amazing if you're a clean vegan food explorer you know the number one question we're going to be asking today is can they compete with the this isn't bacon so Already the smell is definitely on par with that, um, but can the taste do it? Let's find out. Right, so they've just come out of the out of the frying pan, fried them for three to four minutes, and my word, I mean, they look like proper smoky bits of bacon. Look at that! It's got the 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 lines. It's got the fat separations. It's got the crispy outers, which I don't remember that this isn't ever having. Um, yeah, really impressed with the time it took to cook. Very, very quick. Right, we're going to slice one of these babies in half. We're going to try it, and then we're going to try it with some ketchup as well so we can get that full-on, you know, bacon buddy sandwich experience. Let's have a look. Okay, right, here we go. We've got one half. We're going to go straight in. Texture already. A bit weird. Not quite properly bacon, but it looks the deal. Smells the deal. Let's have a look. Mm. okay so what do i think i've got to say first of all it did shock me a little bit it's not as juicy and as kind of full of moisture as that's traditional real bacon it doesn't have that juice appeal the texture does taste a little bit papery it's not plasticky it it bites through very very well but when you do it's maybe a little bit too breaks apart um, so it's not rubbery, but it is a little bit strange and not quite like real bacon. It, you can see already, I mean, there's no juice or anything on here, which does mean maybe the fat content does need to go up a little bit. Um, but the flavour, on the first taste, you're like, ah, oh, that's, it doesn't quite taste like bacon. But I have to say, once you have a couple of bites of it, that flavour does start kind of permeating up to, to what, bacon does taste that and it starts to match the smell i mean i'm very very impressed with these i have to say i think they're super impressive for what they are are they better than the this isn't this isn't bacon i no they're not not quite i think maybe the actual flavor yes but i think 
Look, look and flavour potentially, but they haven't quite nailed the texture. And for bacon, that for me is very, very important where it's got to be crispy, but still very juicy. And they don't quite do that. Um, so this has only been released for a week, I think. So already I would say they're the second best vegan bacon on the market. Only to this isn't bacon. Um, and I've got to say, if this was what they can do on their first round, who knows what they're going to do once they just refine and tweak that that texture because I think they've almost nailed it. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm going to go and have this with my lunch now. I'm having a jacket potato, beans and vegan bacon. What could be better? Peace. <laughs>